God bless you, brothers and sisters. I am coming to you to share a vision that I just had today. Um, earlier today, as I was just laying down, you know, getting ready to take a nap, I literally closed my eyes and I saw a nuke going off. And within the nuke, you you guys know how the smoke um, begins to envelop and 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 um, you know the the smoke from the nuke. I literally saw Donald Trump's face appear within the smoke of the nuke, and it was crazy because I mean I saw his hair, everything like his face, and um. Immediately after that, I woke up and I was like really startled and I really just had to lay there for a second and, and really ask myself and ask the Lord, like, what did I just see? And um, it, it was just so crazy because, um, like I said, I, I wasn't dreaming. I wasn't. It was a, literally a, a vision. And um, I felt led to share this with you all today, you know, because of the current situations that has arised um, in this nation, in these nations. You know, we are um, on the brink of World War III, as many of you may know or may have heard. Um, we, we are close. We are at the end and the Lord warns us and he says, even right here in Matthew 24 verses 6 through 8, he said, and you should hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes and diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All of these only are the beginning of sorrows, you guys. For we don't know the day nor the hour when the Lord is going to come. We don't know when we're going to stand before God. We don't know when the tribulation is going to start. We don't know. We don't We don't know. Everything is just kind of going as the Lord wills. Everything is going according to His timing, not our own timing. Of course, many of us want to be raptured up out of here before any type of war or tribulation starts. But we don't know what we're going to see. Again, he said all of these are the beginning of sorrows. The end is not yet. The end is not yet. For there is much to take place before the Lord comes. And I just really pray um, that we all are preparing ourselves as we see the very end of eternity approaching we need to all be preparing ourselves and and honestly that's what I've been doing, you know, in my own life and in my own walk, you know. I can get on here and I can make all type of videos and 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 share all type of stuff, but if my own life and my own walk with the Lord is not right, then really it could be in vain. You know, and even Paul said that, you know, I can win souls and I can do all of these things. And I myself can be disqualified, you know, and, and so I just been really taking the time out to really get my life and my walk right with the Lord, because I don't want to be out here ministering. I don't want to be out here doing things, you know, uh, for God. And I know that in my personal life, I'm not living it or or I'm not really doing what I am supposed to be doing. So I'm just really soaking in the Lord and really doing what he's called me to do, you know. Because we are at the end and we all will have to stand before him and give an account for every word, every thought, every every deed, everything that we have done in our body. So I encourage you all that in this time, as we see the end approaching, as we see World War Three approaching, as we see the day of the Lord approaching, we need to all make sure we are working out our salvation with fear and trembling. We need to make sure that we are saved. We need to make sure that we are living a life that is pleasing unto God. So I encourage you all, you know, take this vision, 
that I had taken into prayer. Um, I'm not assuming anything. I'm not, you know, uh, stating anything. This vision that I had really could mean so many different things. And and again, we are at the end. And it's it's not a coincidence that I had this vision. For the Lord says that he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh in the last days. He said many of us will have dreams and visions and we will prophesy. And so the Lord is still, he's still pouring out his spirit. He's still showing us things. So. I love you all. God bless you. Stay close to the Lord. Please, please stay close to God in this hour. Now is not the time to fall away. It's not the time to start compromising. It's definitely not the time to start becoming slothful and comfortable in your walk. Because it's more serious than ever that we, you know, make sure that we are, you know, walking in the ways of the Lord in this time. You know, because we don't know. We don't know when we're going to leave this earth and we don't know when he's going to return. So please stay close to God. Please make sure your life and your walk is right with the Lord and, and just continue to do what he's called you to do. So I love you all. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. He said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Matthew 24, verse 35. God bless you.